What is going on, guys? My name is Jace Machine, and we are checking out a game called Fortress Craft Evolved. Now, Fortress Craft Evolved looks like another Minecraft clone, but in a minute, when we get down to the planet, I'll show you what it's all about. We're going to go through the tutorial a little bit just to start us off. Uh, this here is the central hub unit. We're going to use E to interact with it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get some power going to it. We can add resources. We happen to have some coal on us. So that's good. We add that. It starts powering up. This thing's going to blossom like a flower. And those are the solar arrays. And during the daytime, this thing's going to absorb, absorb more power using that. We have a suit on. Uh, the suit's battery is shown in the upper left corner. We need to get some power from this hub by pressing Q on this power block here. Now, we can transfer this power block, uh, power, to other blocks, I should say. So let's go into here. And we can add power this way and drain it from our battery and put it into things. But at least this is now making coal and making things happen. Again, we're just going to have to keep filling up at our main power source here. Now there's a storage hopper right next to this thing. You can press Q on it and that's just going to pull extra items out of it. Now, one of the main tools of this game, and again, it makes it way different than some others out there, is the ping tool. We've got unknown stuff around here, including the ground here. So let's scan this with the right button. And we can take that back here to a blue station here. And we can open this up, and we can process our scans and learn more stuff. Like, quite literally, we can learn stuff, because after we process this, we can get research points that we can then use to purchase things like our storage crate right here. And that's how we get further along, sort of in a daisy chain. We will find unknown items, and we will bring them back after we've scanned them and used the points that we've gained in order to level up our tech levels. Level up our tech levels. Craft a power core. Okay, this is in regards to this little fellow who's been floating around with me. His name is Arthur. And Arthur is a little jerk, to be honest, but I like him that way, and I wouldn't want him to change. So let's make a power core for Arthur. We're going to be using some copper bars. We just happen to have two on hand. The game is quite courteous in that regard. And we can access our inventory. We can see that it's in here. We can put it anywhere on the bar. It won't change where it is down here. And uh, it just works. No coal burned in the last minute. All right. So this is encouraging me to build uh, some coal transportation here. So you can see that there's a hologram, and it also represents various items that are in my hotbar right now. So let's put down a logistics hopper right there and the conveyor belts we're gonna place down leading directly from hopper to hopper now the way that you're facing um, depends on which direction the conveyor belt is conveying and the direction is very important but if it's all messed up you can just mouse over it and use R and you can get it facing the correct and proper way And so now what this function is doing is pulling out the excess coal out of this hopper, transporting it to this machine, which then works it into the larger hub. And so now this thing is going to power itself even at nighttime. 
All right, so the first thing we really need to do after we get that first setup is we start. We need to really start looking for our blocks, different ores. There are uh, materials that we need to make, um, and the materials are going to be made out of the first tier elements, uh, such as iron, tin, copper, and lithium, if I'm correct. Um, I'm going to put some torches down here real quick, though. These torches are going to help keep this area warm so that when we're cold and working around here, we should be just just fine. It'll help conserve energy. If you look over on the right, you'll see that it says battery use rate. It's the little blue line at the bottom. It's got a 1.2. Now watch it. That's just from the torch right there. Uh, so the torch helps to keep the battery use up because we're not using it to heat the body so much. And uh, we have the external suit temperature. We have the internal suit temperature. Uh, all of this stuff is to help keep you alive. And so, you, of course, your suit is your main lifeline in this game. This differs from Minecraft and some other games. You build extractors. You place them on ore veins. And then you let them do the work after you've powered them. So we're going to add some more power to this. And we can also power it in a second way, too, also, real quick. Um... But we could also just grab items out of here and make more coal, uh, use the coal, and make more of the torches. Crafting. Crafting. There's a power block right next to this main one, this main extractor here. So we are going to push E to push all of our power into it. And then that is going to get drained into the extractor next to it. So we can have to do this a couple of times. All right, now that night has fallen, you can see that we have our ship wreckage here. There is a bunch of stuff around here that we can scan that we do not know of. So we are going to do that right now. Um, this is stone, if I'm not mistaken. believe this is copper all these little plants and stuff these count as blocks too so you want to scan them as well and the different colors are significant there's a lot of plant life on the surface so while you're just sort of checking out the immediate area this is something easy you can do to just get some really cheap research points. Ooh, mushroom. See this robot here? I don't know if he has a real name, but I like to call him Carl for whatever stupid reason. Hi, Carl. Carl's a little confused at the beginning of the game, but later I understand he becomes quite a force to be reckoned with as far as base defense goes. Alright, we are just about out of power here. So let's ping this last one. ran out didn't have quite enough all right back back up here guys we don't want to freeze to death it's one of the most common ways of dying at least that I've seen so far that or falling to one's death I guess having one's face melted off by acid also is kind of a sucky way to die all right we're gonna go run by Carl here and we are gonna get this thing scanned Let's take him back to our research desk here and start scanning these guys away here. All right, so the smaller amounts you get are because these items are much closer to the surface and a lot easier to find. All right, the next thing we want to do is stick an extractor directly on this ore vein. Again, we're going to need to power it. Uh, make sure we don't kill ourselves in the process. 
And it's going to do its job of collecting the copper ore, and we can automate all of this stuff later on. And uh, as we do that, it'll become a lot easier for us to play this game. I'm going to cut some stairs in here, make it a little bit easier for us to get in and out of this little basin. Oh, starting to freeze. Let's get back up to where it's warm with the torches and the, the love and the everything. Alright, so we are again still on our search for unknown stuff. Every th time we find stuff, we find we search for more unknown items and we can scratch them off our list. So when our, we do more scans, each scan is a little bit more useful, so to speak. Alright, we've got something right, right below us here. Is there an easier way to get to it from in here? I don't know. Let's do it again out here. Oh, there's definitely something right there. Alright, let's try to dig in at this thing. We'll go in from the top. Let's scan it one more time just so I know where it is. It's directly below us according to this. Now you see those little slime dudes? Sliming their way around. Uh, those guys are a starter source for tin, in case we haven't found tin ore uh, veins yet. Uh, we can take them out with our gun if we want to. Shoot them in the face. There's no crosshairs, which drives me crazy because there's crosshairs for everything else in the game. Uh, but we can pick up some basic tin ore. In fact, let's go kill this guy too real quick. Because I don't like his face. Yeah, suck on it, jerk nuts. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Oh, your friend here. Your friend is... Oh, crap. Suit power lever is low. Okay, you're, so your gun and everything that you do is based off your suit power. So there's a lot of running. Carl, could you get your foot off the power generator, please? Thank you. Come on, man. Pull yourself together. What's going on, huh? He's like running off in shame. This block, how big is it? All right, so let's throw down an extractor. Give the extractor just a little bit of power here. And I think I gave it a little bit too much power. I should be home before I freeze to death, though. Daytime is a lot more forgiving than night, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go back to our research area here. Find out what we're working with. It's worth 10, so it's probably an ore. It's 10. That's 10 ore. Alright, so we don't have to shoot stupid slimes in the face anymore. But what we do need to do is keep collecting this stuff. And hopefully, oops, I don't want to put that there. Hopefully we can find iron here fairly shortly. Now if I don't break my leg, I can reach down here and actually pull stuff out and add stuff to this thing. Yep. Just add power to it. All right, so we're starting to pull ores out. Now I'm going to show you how you go about smelting the stuff. That's the uh, the fourth side of this magic cube of stuff. And uh, you just add ore. As long as you have four of any kind, it takes them in by fours and drops them in or takes them in by twos or whatever, math stuff. So it's going to start working on my copper, and then we can come back and keep it smelting on my uh, tin that we just got. But 
Let's try to see if we can find one more, and that would be iron. That's usually deeper, but not always. Quit fooling around, Arthur. Something real deep below us here. Well, we can stand here and we can shoot down in at it. And if it ends up being an ore, our gun will bounce off of it. Let's see. Can we drop a glow stick down here? It was pretty deep. Let's see if we can get here down there without smashing ourselves. Need some real light. Torch. Let's see if we're on the right track. Pick an unknown. We are almost there. here. This is 10. Alright, that's great. We know where 10 is. I wanted to know unknown stuff. Unknown. Well, that was uh, not iron. That was some more tin. More tin. Put down just some simple blocks so that we know that there's a shaft here. <laughs> I said shaft. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, low power. I think that's going to be it for the day. We're pretty much just trying to find unknown stuff, but I think we might have to go deeper. So that's where our next episode is probably going to start with us going deeper and deeper. All right, gathered up some last minute materials here, loading up some power to my extractors. And I think that's a good place to wrap it up for the time being. All right, we still have yet to find iron and lithium, so those are on the agenda for next time. Let's try to keep adding ore to this smelter us in the copper business and uh, go with that so there you go if you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to give a like if you have any questions comments or criticisms please leave those in the comments section provided below and if you guys are new around here be sure to subscribe for more content I put out a lot of different similar type of stuff a lot of sandbox and creative -y type sort of games so if you like this definitely subscribe for more content guys I will see you all next time.